If you have a team of reps and you need to motivate them, a great way to do this without having to be hands-on and motivate them all the time is to have clear targets and good reporting. Okay, clear targets, right, let's not complicate what uh, the target is. For example, if you have an SDR team, is the target, say, 20 meetings a month. But that's really, that's the goal of what they need to do. That target includes um, activities to get there. And here's where the reporting comes in, right? How many activities does it take to get to a conversation? How many conversations does it take to get to a meeting, right? That's clear reporting. So if you're telling a rep, look, your target is X amount of meetings, and what we see is that it takes this amount of calls, emails, social engagements to get there, you know, that's a conversion ratio. How many calls or activities does it take to get to, say, so many conversations? How many of those does it take to get to a meeting? Those are conversion ratios. So you need that target to be nice and clear because it's going to provide focus. If that's complicated, then the rep's kind of going to drift. It just happens. Right? But you set that target nice and clear, and you present some nice reporting, and you broadcast this reporting right? so they can get at it and they understand it, hey, I need to do this many things to get to this many conversations, this many conversations to this many um, meetings, right? then uh, they're gonna go after it. They're gonna know what it takes. Additionally, broadcast that reporting, right? Put that up around the office so reps can compare themselves to their peers for a couple of reasons. One is they're gonna see what's uh, capable if you have more veteran reps and they're banging out lots more activities and getting lots more meetings and making lots more money or hitting targets sooner, then the new rep is gonna see, hey, that's possible, right? As opposed to if it's a bit of a black box where, hey, we want you to achieve this and you can't see the activities or the conversion ratios, then they're just gonna think, hey, Bill's a great sales guy and maybe he's more talented than me or no, he has better leads than me. But if you put up on the boards uh, clear target, clear reporting of the, the activities, and you see that, wow, Bill is just really active, or he converts a little bit higher. You know, he had more dials resulting in actually more conversations, a higher ratio there. How's he doing that? I'm gonna ask him, or I'm gonna see it's possible. Maybe some craft in there, right? So that's, that's gonna really motivate the team where you don't have to go around and rah, 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 and, and get them pumped up. It's just put those numbers out there so everyone can see what it takes to get from point A to point B. Same goes with uh, another role like an account executive, right? Often it's like, well, you've got a quota and uh, you've got a revenue number, but really what are the activities that get there, right? We are, I think account executives should be prospecting 20% of the time. So make sure they know what their activity and conversion ratios and stages that their opportunities should be moving through to get to that number. But keep it relatively simple, don't overcomplicate it, and then report clearly on that. Put it up there so it fosters some competition, some cross-mentorship, and you're gonna find your sales team is more motivated, and it's gonna be a sort of a stronger culture where you aren't responsible for telling them what to do, showing them what to do, getting them excited. They're gonna see it in the numbers. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day.